Hello and welcome dear viewers. It's time for another one of those little vloggy videos, which I really enjoy doing. Sorry for the traffic sounds. I'm out and about in uh, eastern Styria on my way to a uh, former colleague who's celebrating his 40th birthday. So, got my backpack full of beverages and chocolates as a small offering to the gods of age. And uh, yeah, what compelled me to do this video? This, this very area here, I'm moving in right now. Uh, my wife and I wanted to, to buy a family home, like a few kilometers away from the very spot I'm at. And uh, yeah, that didn't come to pass. <laughs> and I just wanted to, you know, share the experience of it with you. And to be fair, don't, don't feel, I don't have that, that sting that you have for missed opportunities. I'm still glad uh, that things worked out how they did. Um, and I'm doing really great in my new flat on my own. I enjoy every second of being alone, which are very rare to be fair, with work and caring for the kids, which I love. Like, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't, don't hate my kids being around. But still, I do enjoy, I do enjoy having time on my own with no one else, just me being able to be me. Try that out from time to time, especially if you think uh, if the ceiling's closing in, the walls are closing in and you feel locked in. Also, wait, where, where, where is it? Yeah, there, there. It's a nice little castle called Schloss Dornhofen. So now I can, you know, geo-guess where I'm at. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing good, doing great. Um, sadly, my new uh, lighthouses didn't arrive this week. Hopefully next week, and I hope the new address GLS is actually delivered to the door because at my old address, they pretended to deliver to the door, but that, just to notify you that they uh, <laughs> that they put it in a <laughs> in a shop that's just outside of city, uh, outside of the city where where the friggin' bus only goes once every hour, which is fun. I mean, I do have a I do have a car as well, but I. I try to use it as little as possible. Hence why I'm out here on foot. Like I didn't walk all the way. I went too far. I I took the bus, which is great. Like I'd never seen a bus like this. It was tiny. It was like a, a Mercedes van that was just slight. It, it, it was caravan sized. Just had. It was a, a Mercedes van with a little uh, compartment. <laughs> Uh, like only three seats per row, like two on one side, one on the other. That was strange, and there were only two people on the bus, including the bus driver. <laughs> it, was a, it was a fun ride. Um, yeah, and since I'm starting to ramble now, another thing I wanted to talk about is gaming-wise, since I'm still confined to pancake gaming, on a side note. We need to find another term, because the first VR headset with pancake style lenses came out, so that's confusing. If you're talking about pancake in the in the uh, general area of VR, so flat games, playing flat games. Uh, I, a game I really sunk into for now is Marauders, which is, to, to cut it short, kind of a very, very streamlined version of Escape from Tarkov with a really sexy steampunk sci-fi retro sci-fi scenario and uh yeah I, I prefer it to tarkov like tarkov's a game that i should like in theory but i never got into it because i think it's it got too much too much bullshit like my main problems with escape from tarkov are that it's deliberately obtuse in areas where there's no need to be obtuse like um why would any soldier that's operating an area not know where they need to go to um to exfiltrate like i, I get the need for for being to getting in and getting back out safely for the game to work but that info shouldn't be obtuse like you shouldn't have to spend like you should either have arcane knowledge uh that you have basically no means in game to to uh, acquire to succeed and Marauders mitigates that by having having you dock on uh, a uh, specific airlock. 
So you just need to remember where your airlock is because you get out the same way you come in. And there's no RPG mechanics. I mean, there's leveling, there's unlocks. Uh, unlocks in the sense of crafting uh, recipes that you can actually kind of pick and choose depending on your needs, which is great. But there's no, no, if you use the gun for so many hours, uh, you reload quicker, you aim faster, you are less shaky, you can run further and faster with more gear the more you play. So it doesn't, it doesn't, um, let's, let's say it, it doesn't reward game time as much. It's more skill based, less uh, based on how willing you are to put up with bullshit. I mean, there's still certain advantages that, that uh, experienced players have in map knowledge, as in where to go, uh, where to expect people from, how, how much time passes. And uh, they also have a gear advantage, but even if you're fully geared, if you're not careful, like the, the free gun you get every run, like if, if, you, if you spawn in with a rust bucket, the, the, the free ship, I'm talking about a ship in, in a moment, uh, you also get a free Luger 30 shots of 9mm ammo and uh, a chest rig that's sl sl pr offering slight protection and four pouches. So, so yeah, you can't get stuck with no gear. And even that, that dainty little pistol uh, can take out a fully geared player if they are not careful and you, you get a little bit of luck. It's not like you're shooting and no, to no effect. Just, you know, pop them in the face two to three times and they're down. Which I like. Again, another thing that, that uh, values skill over over time spent. I mean, skill does come with time, but you know, you know what I mean. I hope. Yeah. So I like I like Marauders a lot. I suck at it, but I like it a lot. I streamed it twice. Nobody watched, but that's fine. Um, don't know if I'm gonna stream it again or just play for my own enjoyment. Especially since the the people I'm playing with are all speaking German. Um, I might, I might stream. I, I, I don't know. But I think next time I'm going to stream, I hopefully have my VR set up. Uh, yeah, oh, I also said something about ship combat. Yeah, that's, that's another neat idea, but that needs to be a bit more fleshed out, is when you um, <laughs> spawn into a map, which sadly you can't choose, like in Tarkov, which sucks a bit because you have contracts that... Tangent in a tangent, I'm good, I know. Um, like, so you have contracts that require you to be on a specific map, uh, and sometimes it happens that since it's randomly chosen that you just don't get the map during the stint you can play which is a little bit frustrating but anyway when you spawn in you spawn in in a ship and you have to fly to your to, to the sp space station where the raids taken place and you can uh, engage in dogfights with other players and uh, if your ship gets destroyed you're not instantly dead you can get to an escape pod and with the escape pod, you have basically two options. You can't dock on the raid station no more, but you can either breach an enemy player's ship and try to take them out, or you can exfiltrate and try to save your gear. So this is, this is a quite interesting mechanic, because you can either ignore it, like most people, or you can uh, use the start of the round to thin out the players that are actually in the raid by destroying their ships, possibly killing them. You can then even board the husks and, and loot their gear. But it's, it's mostly mostly just not worth it to do that. Because most of them are running with, with uh, little gear. Or you can uh, ex wait outside or exfiltrate early. And wait for the people um, undocking from the station. And shoot them down. Because they might be uh, of less health. And they might die during the, the bombardment. Because every time you hit a ship it'll damage the people inside and then you can loot them so that's, I find that that quite interesting but then um, you could give yourself the edge there by by uh, crafting or stealing better ships and equipping them with weapons but right now I think there's too much risk involved because they they need lots of resources uh, to even get the crafting recipes and to craft them and um, if you die, you lose the ship. If you dock and you die, you lose the ship. It's just part of your gear. So whenever you die in a raid, you lose the ship. And it's not that much of an advantage to offset that, especially since once you're in the raid, the advantage of the ship disappears. Uh, so that's a bit frustrating. I mean, 
uh, being frustrating is kind of part of the game. But but I feel I, f I feel like uh, that a crafted ship shouldn't despawn or, or shouldn't shouldn't be lost upon docking. Um, it should be lost when it's destroyed or when it's stolen, but it shouldn't it shouldn't be lost when it's docked. But that's just me. Or you could or or, or for example just just uh, you know have an insurance like system where you pay a premium to have it returned because sometimes you uh you have to ditch your ship like when you're um when you can enter you can enter the main ray but sometimes there's this secondary ai controlled ships that you can enter for certain missions and uh valuable loot and that usually involves ditching the ship and when you ditch the ship that's a goner uh i mean you could theoretically fly back to it and re-enter it but usually it's gone by then so basically um you're out of a if, if you have if one of those extra ships happens to spawn you're out of your ship if you want to go for it or if you need to go for it but anyways i think that's all for now see ya